experience from Fagradas Fjall. We are here on the top of uh, the highest mountain in the area. I'm actually already hiking down. And here is this shield volcano. Call it Srains Skjöldur. I don't know when it erupted exactly, some 10 or 15 thousand years ago. Maybe 12, sorry. I think it's 12 thousand years ago. And shield volcanoes don't have to be big, you know. You see, this was... This, this volcano covered an enormous territory. All this lava field that you see, as long as you can see, it was coming from this volcano. Which is a kind of flat. There you see Kaelir. And uh, here you see Meradagar and the current volcano. So we walk down the mated to the top of Fagrandal's Fat. Something different today. If you come to Iceland, I recommend you to do such hikes like climb Fagradals Fat, see what amazing views we have from here. This is uh, super scenic, especially if it's a good weather. Also to climb this mountain, Kaler, you can drive pretty close. If you have four-wheel drive, you can drive uh, pretty close to it, you know, and then you can climb it. But Fagradlas Fat is easy to reach because it's uh, next to the current eruption site and you have the trail A, which takes you half of the way. Easy hike. So we go down now. This is how far lava reached Meradaler, you see Meradaler. And here it was spilling to the north from the volcano. This was the current eruption, you see. So, with less wind here. It was very windy on the top of Fagradalsfjall. Cold winds. So we are waiting for the next eruption, which might never happen. <laughs> uh, nobody knows. See what an interesting crater we have here. Look at this. I have never seen this. I think there is some lake there. Wow. You always find interesting things around here. Some tiny mini crater. Not far from the volcano. Some ancient one. And what is the explanation of that hole? I don't know how it came to be. So I'm on the top of Fagradal's Fjall and all of a sudden, like within five minutes, there came this fog, this cloud, and you can't see anything. Weather in Iceland is very changeable. Here we can have four seasons in one day, you know. Clouds are moving very fast and visibility can change within minutes as it is now but i'm walking down back to towards Grindavik and 
the parking lot I made to the top and now it's just nothing more to do here really I have a book where I record all the mountains in Iceland which I uh, conquered so now I can add Fagad Lotsfjad to that because <laughs> I've been here so many times but never really made it to the top of this mountain but now we did so is for me is uh, the way to exercise you know on the fresh air instead of going to gym i see i was going to gym for for years but recently i replaced it with hikes <coughs> you see tefra was flying here this is from the volcano he was flying here, I think in May or June. So now we are walking down. I will not be going down. Or maybe I walk trail A. I don't know. Let's see, I have to walk that direction, trail B. But maybe I walk along the lava fields, make more films. It's not so super cold like, but it's a relatively cold wind. Iceland is not cold country, I mean, the winters here are... We do have cold winds, but they're, they're nothing to compare to the temperatures in the, the inner parts of Asia or Canada. Here it's very warm. Because it's a maritime oceanic climate. Uh, we have eruptions in Iceland, volcanic eruptions, every two years on average. So, uh, no big deal, there will be a volcanic eruption in some other part of Iceland very soon, anyway. So, you can always see lava here at once in a few years if you like it. Okay, now you can see the volcano, now the clouds are gone. You see? Now you can see it. 